Hi everyone, thank you for watching my YouTube contents. I'm Sang Kim. In this video, I would like to help you understand the types of statistical analysis that can be applied based on the type of variable. If the y variable is continuous and the x variable is continuous, you can uh, utilize regression analysis such as linear regression or nonlinear regression to determine the relationship between x and y by estimating parameters. If uh, the y variable is continuous and the x variable is categorical, we can consider conducting statistical analysis to test if there are differences in means among more than two groups. Some commonly used methods for this purpose are t-test, analysis of variance, or multivariate analysis of variance. If the y variable is categorical and the x variable is continuous, we can consider using various statistical analysis to predict categorical values of y, such as success or failure. Some commonly used methods for this purpose are logistic regression, discriminant analysis, decision tree analysis, and support vector machine. These analyses are highly valuable from a commercial or business perspective as they can provide insights into predicting outcomes and making informed decisions. Lastly, if both variables are uh, categorical, we can explore the association between or among categorical variables. One commonly used statistical test to examine this association is the chi-square test. It is often referred to as an independence test or a test of homogeneity, assuming different statistical distributions. The chi-square test allows us to determine if there is a significant relationship or dependency between the categorical variables under investigation. I plan to upload some videos related to this topic, so let's try to gain uh, let's try to gain a better understanding of the basic principles behind this type of analysis. When both variables are categorical, it is common to construct uh, this kind of contingency table for further statistical analysis. In this case, we typically do not designate one variable as y variable and the other as x variable. Instead, we focus on examining the relationship between the two variables by organizing their categories in a contingency table. This is R4M to conduct chi-square test. As you can see, under 5% significance uh, level, uh, p-value is uh, less than 5%, then we can reject null hypothesis. So it means that this matrix has a sig significant association between them. And its uh, row linear analysis is a general form of chi-square test. And in our program, uh, you can use GRM function. Uh, once you uh, uh, change data form by using melt function, then as you can see, a column, row, and association between column and row. As you can see, uh, it shows a significant uh, p-value. So we can say that uh, row and columns has significant uh, association, right? As you can see, if we consider this uh, matrix, then as you can see, uh, it shows uh, let, uh, no significant uh, p-value. So it means that uh, it is uh, it shows uh, homogeneity we also can uh, think of odds ratio or relative risk but uh, if we focus on odds ratio then uh, there are uh, i showed you two ways of uh, calculating odds ratio and odds ratio actually helps us to uh, identify the association between two variables right and also, we can think of uh, graphical, uh, graphical expression. So uh, once you activate the VCD library, you can use mosaic uh, function. Then uh, you can draw this kind of uh, contingency table graph. Right. And also, uh, you can think of many different uh, statistical statistics to understand association between them. For example, if you have 5 by 5, five, five, five contingency table, you can uh, get 
uh, these uh, various of uh, statistics to understand uh, nominal association or ordinal association. I will show you how to uh, get this uh, statistic uh, in a separate video. There is one reference book uh, for categorical data analysis. So I hope you have a chance to read this book if you uh, want to be expert about categorical data analysis. I hope this video uh, helps you uh, guide you, uh, helps you understand how to do uh, categorical analysis. And I will try to upload more useful videos related to categorical variables. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.